Local businesses need local keyword search volume. All too often, what you get is you actually see like search volume and you do keyword research and you actually actually see how much that keyword is searched across the entire country or even the entire world. But as a local business and most small businesses do a decent portion of their business, if not all their business in their local market, you actually need to see what people are searching locally so that you can have those keywords and know what to write about in your blog, add as keywords to your website, add as keywords to your Google business profile. You don't wanna take a keyword and see just because it's got a lot of uh, searches nationally and think that that's happening a lot in your local area. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to get search volume for keywords in Google but for your local area. So you can actually get a sense of, okay, what are people searching for around me so that I can get the right keywords for my local business to target and, and drive in the traffic to get more leads and customers and sales for my business. So let's break this down. I'm gonna show you three easy tools to use to help you break down and understand what the search volume is locally for keywords that you're looking to target. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go in here to Google Keyword Planner. Again, it's free. You don't have to be running ads to use these tools. You just need to sign up with your Gmail account to start using it. It's really smart for your business. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to Discover Keywords, and then I'm gonna go over here and start with a website. Now, I'm, I like using Landscaper or landscaping businesses because they're just such a common type of local business all over the country. So here's a landscaper that is here in Colorado. I'm just gonna start by pasting them in. Now make sure you use the entire site and not just a page. That way you Google understands your whole site to give you results. And then I'm just going to click on get results. And now what this is going to do is automatically help me to uh, understand, you know, the types of searches associated with my business. But you can see the problem here. By default, it's just showing me search volume across the whole country for this. But again, this is a local business like yours is. So we need to see the search volume locally of the keyword and what are the right keywords to target in our local market. So I'm gonna go right over here and click on this pencil in United States. And I'm gonna switch this to where we actually do business. So you can see Denver, Colorado. So there's a couple different options here. I'll probably use the region report just to search Denver and all around it because I'm a landscaping business. I'll do all that, but choose which makes sense for you. And you can see, I don't know Denver, Iowa, but Denver, Iowa has a population of 4,000 people. And you could also target Denver, Iowa, right? Or I could charge target Aurora or Boulder, you know, different suburbs of this market too, to understand what the search volume is there if I'm trying to do it. So I'm just going to select Denver for now. And you can see it's going to hone in and show me the Denver region that it's targeting. And I'm going to click right here to get rid of the United States, right? So this is even probably a little bit too broad. You can see it's kind of scoping in the, on the whole region. So that's not exactly the targeted location I want. So let's try that again. Just do Denver, Colorado, and let's just do the city target. All right, there we go. Now, this one is a little too narrow, right? Because I'm not taking in the account of the whole city. So then I might want to add in Aurora, whoops, hit the caps lock, Aurora, Colorado target. And you can see it adds in that suburb. I might want to add in Lakewood, Colorado, and now I can target that suburb. But you can see my point here, you can get very specific about where exactly people are and what the people who live in these areas are actually searching, right? So I'll just leave it as that for now. So now I've got Den Denver, Aurora, and Lakewood, but I would obviously want to add, you know, Wheat Ridge and the other towns, Thornton, things like that. But I'm just going to, to narrow that in. And now it has brought down that keyword. You can see where it is and you can see how many average monthly searches are happening in those specific areas I defined. So it gives you a much better sense of how many people are searching those things. And what I found is that because people search variations of these keywords, the volume's usually higher than what's actually here, just from personal experience, what I found. But you can see across all these keywords, now I have a much better sense of which ones get the highest average monthly searches. So I could search this by most search, right? Landscaping Denver, lawn care services near me, landscapers. I could flip it and search by the least search, right? The ones that I maybe don't need to worry about as much. And then I can just go over here and it'll kind of do it in terms of keyword idea. But now you can see best landscapers, small job landscapers, right? That's an interesting one you might not have thought of but between 10 and 100 people a month are searching small job landscapers. So if you are a small shop that does landscaping, 
Well, there you go. That's a keyword you want to build into your website, your blog, and talk about how you do small jobs. And that's a part of your business, maybe a one person landscaping company. Um, so you can now see as I scroll through here, the search volume and 1800 different keyword ideas and exactly what people are searching in your area, right? And the keyword volume associated with that. All right, okay, now I'm gonna go over here to SEMrush and it is a paid tool, but all of their features are pretty awesome. So it depends on where you're at in your journey for SEO, but I'll put the link below, give it a try. There's a free trial. Here's what people often do. They pull up keywords like this that are like landscaper, right? And then they've got all these general landscaper searches and they've got the volume for those. Now, SEMrush doesn't let you hone in the same way that you can with Keyword Planner on the specific locations, at least not that I know of, but here's how I use it. So I go in and I would just put landscaper, but there's two ways, and this is critical, there's two ways that a local search gets modified. People either say landscaper near me, or they say landscaper and their city and town, or city and state, or town and state, right? So what you can do in a tool like this is go in and say landscaper, and then just put in Denver, Colorado, because we know that's the modifier that people will actually use, is the city and state modifier. And then it's going to give me 190 keywords and the search volume for those, across people searching landscape in Denver, Colorado, landscape companies in Denver, landscape. And now I wouldn't just do this for this. And you can see all the volume for all these landscaping jobs, commercial landscaper. You can see the volume and the keyword difficulty, how difficult it would be to rank for this. So to me, this looks wide open in terms of building a high quality website, building in these landing pages and keywords to rank for it. But now you can see the approximate volume. And if you target all of these, you'd be you'd be showing up in searches for 1400 you know queries a month which is a great opportunity to grow business so i would do this not just for your business type but then whatever types of services you have so like let's just say that you do uh sprinkler repair so i'll just leave a general and put sprinkler denver colorado and now you've got sprinkler repair okay that's 70 searches a month so that makes sense i'd want to have a you know a a landing page about my sprinkler repair in Denver, Colorado and target that keyword because there's volume there and that could turn into really highly, highly qualified customers. So using a tool like this, whether it's SEMrush or any other keyword tool, you might not be able to actually focus on location or like sort just to a location in the same way that you can with the Google search results. But the way that you get around that is know that people are either searching near me at the end of what they want or they're searching their city and state and town. So by putting the city and state at the end, then you have a good chance of seeing what the volume is. All right, last one, keyword trends. So Google keyword trends, if you're not familiar, is showing you what's popularly being searched and how popular things are at different times of the year when they're being searched, right? So I just go over here to the explore tab and we'll just stick with the same thing. Let's just search, start with uh, landscaper, right? So I can search by landscaper and see the interest over time. Now it's already going to give me sub areas too and show me okay how popular is this search in connecticut in the last 12 months and you can see that right and then it's also going to give me other types of related topics or related queries here that i can think about in my area and what that means is are these rising are they getting more popular which search terms are at the top and then same with these breakout terms breakout just means that the term is you know starting to get more popular in that area so what I can do, and again, I'll just go into um, Colorado, is I can go right here and I can go US Colorado. I can even get specific and go all the way to my specific location if I want, but I'll just probably keep that general and just say, you know, Denver, Colorado, let's say. So now I can see Landscaper Denver, Colorado, and then I can see all of these other terms. So Landscaper Denver, Landscaper near me, and then I can show all these other related topics. So plants, trees, ideas, yard, and then I can click on any of these other related topics and know how popular the search volume is and when they're being searched the most too, right? So you can see, obviously this is getting searched the most. It's also going to break down the interest by city. So it's not telling me the volume exactly, but it's showing me the interest by city and how popular a search term and when it's most popular. So that's when I wanna be pushing out a lot of content or have a lot of content already indexed in Google for that time of year. And then you can see the other types of ideas or related topics, which gives me other ideas for what people are searching for. Again, I've got this sorted by Denver, Colorado. So you're gonna have ideas that are 
that are fixed to your area. So like how to kill mushrooms in a yard. That's an uh, that's a problem that's specific to this area. Not everybody all over the country is going to have that or solar lights for yard, very sunny in Colorado, especially in Denver. So you're gonna get topic ideas for the types of keywords and blogs and articles you can include in your website by showing the interest that people have in your area and the types of things that they're searching. So this is gonna give you a whole bunch of ideas for the types of things that you should add in, you just search it by your location. All right, so that's three ways to basically get a good sense of ideas and keyword volume in your local market to help target the keywords to grow your business and get more traffic. If you like this video, hit subscribe and like. We'd love to see you here for more videos and check out these next videos because we're gonna talk about other things that you can do to optimize your visibility online and get more local customers.